YouTubers, it's me, Johnny. Got a little bit of rain today. Just a little picture of the skyline here. Anyways, um, today I'm going to talk about the markets. Um, I'm trying to think of the ETF that just reversed course. It's now above its trend line. Um, can't think of it. Uh, XLP. XLP just turned bullish today. If it stays above the trend line, it's a possibility that TLT, which is a 20-year bond ETF, will reverse. And all that will signal we're in a big-time recession, which I'm sure the viewers already realize and know. Anyways, um, I bought two, uh, I think it's MSOS, it's the weed ETF. The weed ETF is off about, by weed I mean the marijuana uh, ETF in the United States. It's um, off about 60% this year. And I think you're going to get a quick 20% rally, I'm not sure. But if it's really, really reverse the trend and we go back through the old highs, it's going to be a nice kind of like XLP, um, kind of like a... a, a a cigarette stock it's just going to rally like a it's going to go up like a lot anyways if this is the case it'll be interesting looks like uh, a lot of the kind of recession shares and um etfs hadn't been working recently are going to start to work now um a lot of shorts are coming in nice i've been shorting the market like crazy making some pretty good gains anyways pretty excited about all the all the gains i'm making I think this is going to be a really, really ugly recession. I think a lot of the tech stocks aren't even done. They're not even done selling off. I think we've got another 20, 30% to go. I think this is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity to short a lot of this stuff. If you're going to go long, I would go long kind of the weed ETF, XLP, XLU, not yet, but soon, TLT, not yet, but soon. And then you're going to make a crap ton of money when to X. TLT reverses, I'm pretty positive the gold shares are going to reverse probably 50% rally right off the bottom. I could be wrong, who knows, but whenever bonds start rallying, the gold and the gold shares will really, really take off, and you can take some profits and put them into these like more conservative plays like XLP, XLU, even TLT if you want. <coughs> Anyhow, I've been watching lately more and more videos from... Uh, Chief Charlie, aka Billy Blue, that guy's such a dumpster fire. I, I wish, I wish I had his personality because I didn't watch his his full, uh, what's it called, in real life, his full uh, stream. He does them like sometimes twelve hours a day. He made two thousand dollars just streaming. Watching the guys is, is, is like, it's interesting to say the least. I can see how he gets in a lot of trouble all over the place, especially if he gets back to drinking. Anyways. If you want to see some interesting stuff, if you want to see like how to make money and make two grand a day, watch Billy Blue or Cheap Charlie. And if you can see what he's doing, if, if you kind of kind of figure it out, people like to watch a dumpster fire. They like to you know watch a car crash or a car wreck, whatever you want to call it. He's really good at that. I can't even fake stuff like that. I just I just can't even fake stuff like that. But. Um, if you watch his stuff, it's very interesting to see his business model where he's making, in some cases, two two thousand um, dollars a day. I watched some other streams he did. He he makes a couple hundred, four or five hundred sometimes in a stream. So for some of you guys out there who are looking for a, like kind of a new business model, a lot of the uh, a lot of stuff from Ad Revenue, AdSense from uh, YouTube videos, I got demonetized, so I can't do it. But um, if you got demonetized or if you want to try uh, streaming um, or what some people call IRL if you stream or doing whatever it is you do in whatever country you live in and you have a unique personality you can make a crap ton of you can make a lot of money and um, I think this is just a phase in the market so for people who can do that and save up some money and get ahead in life it'll be a good opportunity anyways just got done raining here I'm pretty excited I, I, I can see a little bit of a rally going forward and the shorting opportunities are going to be just like once in a lifetime it's going to be once in a lifetime to make a lot of money. And uh, I'm, I'm surprised the weed stocks are now sticking off. With the weed stocks taking off in the ETF and with the um, XLP, that's reversed in the last week. But yesterday it really, really, really reversed hard. So I take this as another clue that uh, 
the bear market, at least for tech stuff, was on in earnest. We're going into a recession. And not only that, the Prime Minister of England. I, I can't believe this guy, that Indian dude. I know he's born and raised there, apparently, but that dude just put on uh, special wealth taxes on tobacco companies or profit tax, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> and some of my friends have been telling me, well, to me, it's a clue that there's going to be exchange controls in the UK and in Europe eventually, but that's just one more clue to how bankrupt England is in the EU. And one of my acquaintances was telling me there's going to be exchange controls. And for the life of me and for most of my life, I just, I just don't think that's going to be a possibility. But now with what's happening with what he's doing, I can see eventually they're going to put exchange controls on so you can't even take your money out of places like the UK. Or it'll be very difficult and expensive. I can see that happening too in uh, the EU. I don't see it happening in the US, but it's possible. That's why I've been kind of changing my views on that. <coughs> I'm just really surprised they voted for... Uh, a conservative prime minister, the first thing he does is put on uh, really high taxes on oil companies. And if you kind of read what, between the lines, they're going to start, not now, but eventually they're going to put on exchange controls. If you don't know, the banks just recently, well, I won't get into that, but they're really restricting your accounts in the UK. They are really restricting your accounts. They're starting off with A, and then they're going to go to B, and then eventually probably full on uh, restrictions on your capital. I don't know how people are going to retire overseas or... <clears throat> do stuff I I haven't figured that out unless they have a second or third passport or a residency somewhere they can get to without a passport that's what's cool about Guatemala you don't really need a passport to get here you just cross the border and then come into Guatemala no I know you're supposed to I, I totally get that but that's a practical matter you don't really need a passport unless you got to get on the plane for some reason anyways that's it for tonight like share subscribe leave a comment tell me what you think thanks